All right. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back home. Uh, excited for the week. Uh, got a short week coming up. A uh, couple things that I think are important to recognize prior to that, that game. Number one, Veterans Day coming up with, uh, with who we've got in, in our area and, and, and let alone our, our country. It's a big deal for us. Uh, son of a military family is a big deal to me and, and the program. And uh, we'll always take the time to step back and, and zoom out a little bit. That We've got a, uh, uh, an exciting, I think, Thanksgiving canned food drive, I believe, that's also going to be uh, honored this weekend. That's part of our process. Um, so I think there's going to be uh, um, something for the fans, the first 100 fans or so that show up, um, which is exciting. So a couple of things that I think are community-driven, which I think are important to pull back the layers and, and realize that it's bigger than, than just us. Um, obviously, moving forward to the game and looking back a little bit last week quickly, um, disappointing loss uh, for our guys and our team um, as, as a program. Some things we want back, some things we want to do better. Uh, I thought the defense did a really nice job um, of their game plan and executing in a lot of ways um, against, a, uh, against a program that's, that's a proven winner. And uh, they did a really nice job in the front, did a really nice job holding them in a lot of ways and put us in position to where um, that game, that game could have been one for us. On offense, we got to do a better job of executing. We got a lot of rust out there, a little more rust than I probably anticipated in some decision making um, and playing together, uh, which is all fixable. None of it's terminal in these last three weeks. This, those things are all things that that uh, that I've, I've I've been in the forefront and and ha put my face first in it in regards to how I can do it better for our, for our offense, for our team, for our program. And uh, there's no blame to go around for anybody in that locker room besides. Uh, we can buck and stop with me in regards to what I believe we can do better. And I've expressed that. I've been very honest with our, with our football team in, in ways that I'm going to be uh, um, uh, finding ways that things that we can do better. And uh, whether it's practice, whether it's me providing film, whether it's me being engaged in all the, all the football, all the situations, more and more and more, which I already am. But doubling down those efforts is something that they know um, I'm more than willing to do and uh, excited about doing, especially these last few weeks. Um, nothing's more engaging to me right now than being part of this football program and what we're building. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about um, even the impediments that may slow us down because that's the greatest growth. And we'll have that. It'll continue to be the process and how we can get better. And so our guys are excited. That good day of work. And uh, uh, we got a good team coming in. Fresno Friday night. It's a well-coached, explosive, been together a long time, a lot of reps. And uh, we've got a great challenge. Coach, can you talk about Jalen Dixon and his progress on the field? Yeah, Jalen. Jalen's uh, done done a fantastic job and had had a huge game. You know, I think a guy who, who we who we've talked about before a little bit with some traits. You know, his ability to get off the ball, his quickness. Um, you're not wowed by his overall size, but what you can see is his twitch, his his his, his ability to get off the ball, his ability to get to get in there and and and, and mess things up in the backfield and change directions. And uh, his growth is is something we're excited about continuing here. Obviously, you guys are, are week to week, but. Do you ever allow yourself just the conversations of how important it would be to get a bull bit and two wins here in the last kind of stretch here? Do you guys no. have those conversations ever? No, probably the opposite. That's going to be something you have to earn. You know, if there's any, if there's any uh, allusion to that, um, it's not that it doesn't exist. No, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to make it sound like that's not something that, that isn't a goal. But I think what happens when you're, when you're early in a program is you're, first you identify who you are, secondly you start to compete, third you start to win, and then you've got to deal with winning. And sometimes when you're dealing with winning, there's a psychological piece that begins to think it's going to happen on its own. And I think you've got to be really careful there. And I think we're working through that. I think when you start hot and you get excited um, and people start patting you on the back a little bit, you start reading your press clippings, it's easy to take your foot off the gas. And I think that I don't, I don't know if that's um, wholly what's going on with us. We're pretty banged up, and uh, that's hurt us a lot. But I know it's evident because I've told these guys, I'm not afraid of the situation we're in right now. I've been there before. I know, I know all the ins and outs of this. been coaching too long to not have seen some setbacks. Um, I get excited about pulling back and zooming out and making sure that we're set here in Monday practice. Um, you will not be given a bowl. You've got to earn a bowl. You have to earn everything in this game. And uh, that excites me because that is a huge, um, I think, teach progression for young guys, young people. And not to mention all of us. I mean, it happens for some of us, too. Coach, you mentioned the defense. Um, would you say, in an overall sense, this was a solid defensive showing as well as they've shown this year? Yeah, I think that there's been a few games where, um, you know, you look back and you're like, wow, that was a, a – there, there was some um, really big pieces to excellent football on defense. I mean, you look back at six turnovers at Utah State. I mean – 
that is just that, that just that's a huge deal. You look at 99 yards of rushing in that and that on that on that team, um, and six sacks and um, blanking them out and you know things like that in, in certain aspects, which really give you a lot of confidence in the growth and the group and their ability to get their guys back and play together. Um, that's exciting, man, and, and they've got that going. And now we need to play. We've talked about it early on. We were playing complementary football, we're playing in three phases that were really good, and we we're tough to stop. We've got to put those phases back together because if we can play like that on defense and we can take away some of these things that were really self-inflicted, right? I mean, the last game was self-inflicted in so many ways. Um, and, and that game swung in really three plays. You know, it's different in three plays um, that were all us. And uh, so I think our, our, our program um, is, as, is as close. There is no division from within whatsoever. Um, we're excited about the way the defense is playing, and it, pushes, it, it gives us an opportunity on offense to say, hey, we've got to do our part. Obviously, with the number of those one-score games, is there any good that you can take from being in those moments time and time again, even if it doesn't go your way sometimes? Yeah, sure, there is. I mean, there, 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 it can't always be half, you know, half empty. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things there that are going to build fuel for, for young players. Again, I mentioned after the game, there's no, we're not, there's no ten-year vets, and you know, there, there's no fifth-year st starters really um, that are that were critically in the, in those situations. You know, and, and I think that the reality of that is. Um, that means that there's a chance to, 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 to improve. And I think that those examples, now they have to be improved. You can't, you can't build your career on the, the oh, hey, I, gotta, I can't I gotta do that. It's got to be a progression. And I think if there's anything we've seen here, it has been that. Um, unfortunately, coming back after weeks off on the, together, there's some of those things, they bit you. They bit you hard. And, and we felt it. And we felt it. And it was very humbling. Um, and my only interest was the response, to see what they'd be like yesterday, last night in a meeting, and what they'd be like today. And they responded. Coach, is there anything in specific you're going to ramp up for this week's game? Uh, the, you know, I, if there's anything that I preached last night uh, for these guys, it doesn't, the echo doesn't change much uh, around here. Um, it's just a magnified focus on fundamentals. If, there, if there's some basics and fundamentals that were, that were fixed in just last week, if we're just going to use San Diego State, that game's different. Just fundamentals, catching, blocking, throwing. That's it. And so um, that sounds simple because it's, it, it's the basics, but um, it's not always because those decisions are, are made in game, under fire, in duress, um, in critical situations at critical times. And so I think you've got to be able to try to find ways to make those fundamentals chaotic in practice, chaotic in meetings, and, and work through it. I think that's the only focus we've ever got because – if we can do it out here, we can do it in those things, uh, in those meetings, in those sessions where you try to provide it. It can be as close to, maybe not exactly, but as close as you can as a game. You've had some time to kind of think about it and, and everything, but how would you evaluate Doug's uh, performance now um, with, with some time to kind of look back on it and, and evaluate, I guess? Yeah, obviously the disappointed. He's disappointed. Uh, we get some critical mistakes in there that, that are costly, and uh, he's got a chance to fix them. You know, there's some things, there's some errors that, that uh, I think were, 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 were uh, whether it was rust, rust driven or um, decision making or just accuracy, some of the accuracy things are, are part of being off for that long. Um, protections, some things like that. Um, but all things that are fixable. On that one play inside the red zone, Aiden, uh, it was the RPO. Do you feel like you had a path to the end zone if you got the ball, if it was pitched? Just curious. Uh, you know, even even if there wasn't a pair, I was going to find a way because we needed points. And, you know, you, sometimes you just got to dig deep and do what you got to do. So, yeah. Why do you feel the offense struggled on Saturday? Um, you know, it, it's, it's hard to be, you know, very consistent and, and good on offense. But, you know, it just comes back to practice. You know, we, we did have a good week of practice. But, unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. You know, um, there's always room for improvement. Uh, better communication and just better execution on all ends. Everybody doing our 111. Obviously, you guys are, are a week to week team, but yeah. obviously, looking at how important it would be just to get a bowl bid into two wins in this last stretch, do you allow yourself to, to go to that point? Has that ever been a conversation in the locker room, or is it just hyper focused on the here? And of course, that, I mean, that's, that's the goal, and you know, everyone has that in the back of their mind, but you know, we're, we're focused on, on this week, Fresno State. You know, we're um, doing a good job being where our feet are at. And we're just focused on the game in the Legion Stadium on Friday. 
How did it feel to just kind of be back out there after missing the last couple of games? Um, you know, it was definitely good to, to be back out there with my brothers. Um, it was tough and very unfortunate I couldn't play against Notre Dame, but um, like I said, it was, it was great to just be back out there and have a feeling and get my confidence back. How are you feeling now physically? I feel good. I'm ready to go. I think it was, what, 21 carries. Do you feel like you're the type of back? I think you are, but do you feel like you're the type of back that gets stronger with more carries, getting into that rhythm, getting into that flow? Oh, certainly, certainly. When you guys have had kind of the stretch, just you know, losses wise, when you do get the bodies back out there, is there kind of part of you that's just like, if we had this the whole time, do you ever go through like the what ifs of what this offense could be like if everyone was healthy the entire season? Well, I mean, you know, that's that's all. That's cute, but <laughs> in life, you you can't you can't really base everything on what ifs. You got to go with what you got. Um, unfortunately, that's football's a brutal game. Um, injuries, that's part of the game, and so you got to live with the eleven you got out there. And um, Coach and I were talking about just a little bit of rest on offense at San Diego State. What did you see from the offense at practice today? Um, definitely, definitely I would say a lot of perseverance. Um, you know, we've been through a lot of adversity. And in this program, you know, you got hit, hit a lot in the mouth. And, you know, it's all about how you're going to respond, how you're going to persevere. And, you know, um, you know, we're excited to get back out there. There was a lot of energy today at practice. And, you know, we're, we're just focused on Friday and, you know, we're ready to get out there. Speaking of that kind of rust, how do you see that kind of stuff play out on the field? You know, when guys haven't been on the field in a while or you've been in and out of the lineup, how does that rust kind of physically appear, I guess? Um, I would say just, just as far as going back to what I said earlier, just the communication piece and, you know, guys just having to physically do it like, oh, we're in the game now. Now it's, it's time to, to play. Um, yeah, practice is good. You know, we execute all week at practice, but you know, when the game comes, you gotta you gotta execute just as well in the game. So, you know, it just it all just comes down to execution. Aiden, you personally, you know, you've hit a little bit of adversity this season, mm -hmm. but you coming into the program, the other transfers coming into the program, you know, how badly do you want to win these last three? We want to win them all. Um, you know, um, that's just the nature of being an athlete, being a competitive athlete at that. We want to win all of them. And like I said earlier, you know, we're um, doing a good job being where our feet are at. And we're just ready for this game on Friday. How tough is it to sort of uh, recreate maybe the dynamic of when you were 4-1 or to sort of keep those, like, vibes and get back to just the mental place in the locker room that everybody was at uh, in that stretch? Yeah, just um, keeping high energy and just remembering the standard that we set for ourselves um, in the preseason and all throughout the season. Um, you know, we, we just come out every day, attack, have a fresh mind. You know, San Diego State's behind us and just locking in on Fresno State now. What are some things that you think you guys need to do to get a win against Fresno State on Friday? Doing our 111. Everyone doing their job, executing, and, and just playing as hard as you can. Aiden, when you're out for a few weeks as you were, does it take a few plays or a few carries for you to get back in the rhythm and the tempo? Uh, not really. In my opinion, you know, that's kind of what practice was for, um, especially on the bye week. For me, it was really big, just gaining my confidence back, getting comfortable running and cutting and, you know, um, just getting back to doing my job. Marcus talked a lot about self-inflicted wounds in that last game. As an offense, how do you kind of respond to some of those mistakes and how do you make sure they'll stay in the rear view and don't, you know, keep on your mind going forward? Yeah, definitely um, doing a good job getting in the film room, correcting our mistakes, and then translating that to the practice field, doing our corrections, and and just making sure everyone does their job. On the field, when they happen, when things don't work out the way you guys want them to, like that. Well, it happens. It's part of life. You know, not everything's going to go the way that you, you plan for, it, but, you know, the only thing you can do is if you make a mistake, do it going 110 miles an hour. That's what Coach always says, but... And then, you know, you, you correct it in the film room, and next time you go out there, your, your next goal is to not make that same mistake. So, Aiden, on the terms of being a week-to-week -week team, what are you going to do to rally your team for this, lap, for this game against Fresno State? Just keep our mind and our focus straight, uh, remembering the standard in which we've set for ourselves, and just staying positive and, 
and taking a step week by week, being where our feet are at. And right now, our feet are our feet are uh, at the recovery point after a Tuesday practice, essentially, for us. So, um, and then we'll, you know, get in the film room later on, and then attack practice tomorrow in preparation for Friday. What was it like to see the defense have a game like they had um, against San Diego State for you? I mean, it was good. You know, um, the next step is just playing for each other. You know, the defense was playing for us. Now we got to play for the defense.